Alright guys, so this is a handle for a cold steel shovel. <clears throat> and I have been asked to make a new one. Nothing wrong with this one. The owner wants this made out of ash. So I've picked out a turning blank of ash with some extremely straight grain. Like all the way down the blank. So we're going to see if we can duplicate this. Now this whole handle geometry back here, really not that big of a deal, but this taper, matching that taper might be a little tricky for someone as unskilled as myself, but we're going to take a shot at it and see what we can do. So I'm going to cut this thing down, get it chalked up in a lathe, and get it turned round, and we'll come back. So now I'm going to lay out all the hot points on this thing. Okay. So first thing I want to do is I want to set this shoulder. Alright, now we're going to measure this, which is right at three quarters of an inch. Alright, so I'm not going to take that all the way down just yet. I want that, I want that bigger than it needs to be so that I can do all this shaping back here. Alright, so I got this just barely fat. That is right where I want it, this lip back here. So now the trick's just going to be to get a straight line between the two. If I turn the tool rest, the angle I need, I'm going to try out this little thing right here a little bit so I can pinch the tool and just follow the tool rest to give me a straight line here and that'll get me close enough to where if I leave it slightly large then I can finish it up with sanding Basically, I just got the speed jack all the way up on the lathe as far as it'll go. And putting real thin coats of this wipe on poly while this thing's blasting. And then I kind of burnish that coat out. Wait a few seconds, do another one. So the cool thing about doing this on the lathe is 
this finish dries to the touch almost instantly. I mean, just in a few seconds. With this light I've got shining on it, I can kind of see where I need to hit it again. But as of right now, the only low spot I have in the finish is down here. And then the back side of the knob back there. So I'll spend a little bit more time working on those two areas. I'm not going crazy with it, but I want to at least get it shiny. Alright guys, so I'm going to let that set up for a little while. Until I can handle it without smudging it. It's still soft. It's dry to the touch, but it's still soft. Okay, right, so here you can see where the factory handles, you can still see where they had the uh, thing chalked up in the lathe. But again, I mean, these things aren't expensive, they're just going to crank them out. And that's not going to stop this handle from being effective. But, this is just so much nicer. Alright, so here they are next to each other. <clears throat> this is the factory one. Um, pretty sure that this is maple. Which, not a horrible handle, but this is the ash handle that I just made. So, the ball on the end is not identical, but... So, once... He didn't give me the head to the shovel, so I don't really have an opportunity to make sure that this is a dead-on fit. So, this is literally like 10 or 20 thou big. He's probably going to be able to just shove that thing into it and hit it, in the, hit it back here with a mallet or something and get it to seat. He'll have to lay out his own holes so that they're a perfect match. And then there's a uh, bevel right here that he's going to have to put on this one. So, But all in all, I'm pretty pleased with this one. So there's another one in the can, folks. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. See ya.